Today I'd like to show you how to make this stunning statement pearl and jade wire wrap pendant that will surely become a family heirloom. Before I start constructing the pendant, what I do is lay everything out. So I have a necklace component. If you want to know how to make this necklace component, please watch my video on how to make a necklace component. So what I've done is I have the main component and I made two small ones. So from that part there, so which is only two loops on each side, first thing I do is lay everything out in front of me. That way I can have an idea as to how the design will look. I've got an Australian jade or chrysophrase cabochon and also I have a faceted garnet and I've got some freshwater pearls. They're all different colors and shapes and also I've got some jade beads, different sizes and again irregular shape, gold freshwater pearls and white pearls and also different sizes of sterling silver round bead and I will be using also some gimp or coiled component and also I'm also incorporating some crystal bicones. First thing I'm going to do is take my jade cabochon, take my 24 gauge wire and I'm just going to follow it around. And I'm going to use, so I'm going to double that up. So I'm going to take the three piece of wire that I have and just roughly do the center. Take some more of my wire and I'm going to even leave it in the coil and I'm just going to bind the three up together. So I'm just going to loop up or wrap up about three times and I'm going to squash them. And so now I'm just going to cut this off now. It's about six inches long. And I'm going to take my cabochon. Better to have it on the other way. I've got the wire in the bottom and we are going to go around, hold all of them together. Just going to make sure that those three are in there. So I've got three from one side and I'm just going to go around there like so. And I'll do the other side, so about there. You can put a masking tape to hold it down if you prefer, because it'll be flip-flopping all over the place. So I'm going to use a masking tape to keep everything in place. Also, another trick is using blue tack. Just put it there and do the center piece like that, just so it doesn't move. So I'm going to put masking tape over that side. So see how that doesn't move with a blue tack? That's really good enough, but if you just want to be secure, you can put masking tape across like that and then that way you can work on your wire. So now just make sure that all the three wires lined up. So now I'm pulling them together and I'm going to twist the front. So if you remember the video that I made on this ring, I have a swirl in the middle. So copying the swirl in a way. go for now now we're gonna take this off I'm just gonna take off on the side so what I'm gonna do is split up my wire so I've got three on each side that is so I'm just gonna lift it off a little bit so now on the other side as well I'm just gonna split my wire and split the back as well just make sure that that center wire stays on the girdle or the side of the stone. So now I'm going to take flat nose pliers. I'm just going to grab on the end here, just on the side. So where the join is, those three there, I'm going to tuck that more in. And I'm just going to flick it and twist to the left like that. I will do the same on the other side holding the stone on the front. Now to the back we go. And this is going to fall off when I take my blue tack off. But Okay, so now just taking the blue tack off. So I'll finish cleaning off. Now I'm going on the back and I'm just going to pull that out the other one because we have three. And on the opposite side as well, I'll just put it in the back. And I'm just pushing this with my fingernails. So now with the top here, what I'm going to do is so this one, I'm going to put that there, and then this one at the back, 
I am just going to insert that into the bail part, but we are not using this as a bail, we are putting it on our component. I'm going to pull the tail tight, my good old trusty clamp. There you go, just tug it. I'm going to put my J onto the biggest part of this component, so which means you can actually push them aside so that way it will sit flush at the back. So, so it would sit like that and I'm going to secure this now by wrapping this up. And when I wrap up I'm going from the top going underneath. Then I will secure the other side and take this one and do the same. So from the top, going between the two. I'm going to do another one. Okay. So now with this one, I'm going to do another one. Now that's secure, now I'm going to work on the front here. I'm just going to take one side, three of them, and I'm going to do a couple of twirls. And on the opposite side, I will be doing the same. So we'll start from go, got one, and these are the ones, I'm gonna go and make little swirls again. So I finished swirling, looping uh, the top part of my pendant. So now I have the possibility of putting the faceted garnet on top. See, that looks so pretty. So now I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. And I'm going to work on this other part. So for now, I've got a layout of how I want the design to flow. So I'm going to take my main piece out. First, I'm going to work on the three. So I'm going to have to join up this part here and put those three pearls over there. So I've got a piece of 24 gauge, just the three. So I'm going to go and put, I'll put it on the center of, it's about 10 inches. So first I'm going to secure this, doing a couple of loops. While I am here, I might as well put one bead, so I'm just stringing that through inside. And tuck that in. And this way I can put one of the three beads of the pearls. So actually this is a pearl, and I'm going to hook that up from under. Making sure I don't kink my wires again, because you know what happens when you kink a wire, they will break nice and tight. So now I can join it up to that one. I'm just going to go through. I'm going to go over on the other side here. Then I'm going to find a gap under the pearl and feed the wire through there. I'm going over this other side so as to secure them or join the three together. And under the pearl again. And so that is nice and stiff now, that corner. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it between the three loops, we have one, two, three, and there's a gap in between. So I'm going to insert this wire through there from under, so that way I can put a pearl through that. Or maybe a little clear crystal. Put 
my bicone in the center that would actually look good. I'm going to give it some room so it can bend on the side like that. So it will sit that way and we won't see the wire. And feed it through the same hole that it came out from. So now, just a bit of adjustment, and I am going to put another pearl through. So it's getting short as well, but I'll still be able to squeeze in one more pearl. So that pearl can sit there. And I am going to put my wire underneath it will pull the pearl into the bicone crystal and also the other pearl. Well, I'm already here. I might as well look this up because I've got a gap just in case it breaks off. And so now I've got a loop there and she is not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to leave that there. And this one now I want to put a gold pearl in that corner. That pearl can just sit there and tuck into here and going into there and I'm gonna put a little gimp in that gap. Probably about six or so it's about that length so I'm just gonna cut a piece off yeah, about there and I'm gonna feed it through my wire and I'm gonna insert it under the crystal or the bicone. So there you go so it's nice and tight. So I'm going to go continue to put my other pearl here. Now with this one I am going to wrap this up a couple of times and since I want to cover those bunch of wires there I will do the same. I'm going to put a gimp on that one and wrap this up a couple of times. First up and also put a little gold bead or a fresh water pearl bead in that corner somewhere like that. There you go and you might as well have another gold pearl in the corner there because you are looking lonely. So now, there you go, now again we find a spot to tuck it in. And so that's it for now there. And now I'm just going to secure this. And there you go. So that one's finished. And this one here, we are going to put this one over here. Slide it through the other side and we'll do the same one. So now I've finished both sides of the three pearls. And a tip. When I was doing this last gold pearl here, I still got about three inches of wire left and it broke off. What you can do, if this happens to you as well, so if you just do a couple of pearls or loop, then that would hold the pearl as well and then setting it so you don't have to worry about your work falling apart. I've done a couple of wraps on this side but on this side I managed to go straight across. I haven't gone through there but then I've got long enough wire to put my jade bead in. So I'll just feed it through. Now it's sitting there like that so I'm just going to go underneath and feed it through the hole in the bottom there and we'll pull it out. If I'm not happy with that wire sticking up there, I, stick in, I can still put some wraps there later on. So the wire came out from where I started off. So I'm just going to do a couple of wraps to secure this. And so I've tucked it in. I've finished putting or wrapping my wire through there. So now I'm going here and we are going to put this flat bead here the holes on the side so I did not realize that so what else gonna happen to that? Change of plan. Wouldn't that look fantastic over there? There you go see I didn't even realize that the holes on the side so I'll just check this one yep they're all side hole or side drilled so I'll just show you I thought they were in the center this is a good example work with what you have I wanted this to go here and it didn't work that way so sometimes one thing or another goes wrong what's gonna happen is gonna make your design work better so this is how I like to work with my jewelry I let the stone and the wire dictate to where the design would go you can draw something up sometimes along the way well a lot of times actually things doesn't work out the way you want it to but it comes out more beautiful than what you hope it would be or what you design it first up so I didn't have plans to put 
anything in the center there but then now that open up another different possibilities again so see how gorgeous that looks and with one of them here that just sets the tone I think that works much better so now we're gonna have a sandwich pearl with two jade beads on each end so I want it to sit on top and so now I am going to wrap up this side secure it so now this is where the beads are gonna come in we put another gold pearl I'm just gonna secure this one and we are going to put some silver beads so I've got three different sizes of beads and that stops the pearl as well from flip-flopping and I'm going to insert this, this gap here. I'll put another jade. Secured it a couple of times. That is looking beautiful. So now I am going to wrap up all the way along here because we are filling up the gaps and also if there's any wire left over, I will just leave it here because I can easily cut it off later on but if I'm not happy with my design, if I need to add on something, it'll be handy to have that wire sticking up there. So okay, I can't help myself. I have to finish off this wire. So what I'm going to do is insert it through this part here, wrap this around once more and put it through underneath here. And then that way, because I was just looking at it and I couldn't stand it. So I'm going to put another series of beads ranging from a 2 mil and a 3 and a 5, I think, or a 4. But it's graduated size, so from small to large, which would finish off that corner nicely. So, so far, this is what I've got. Now I'm going to work on this part, but before I do that, I'm going to put a masking tape on my main stone and start building up this section. So I'm going to take another length of 24 gauge wire, just going to cross on both sides and wrap it up a couple of times. So take this one from this side and that one will have to go on the opposite side. Then I'll just wrap up all the way along on the shoulder and then I'm going to go under my first loop there and wrap it up just once and go on the opposite side and I'm putting a pearl bead and wrap it up but from the outside and I'm gonna go in between from where it first came out from Bring it in so I've wrapped up six times and now I'm putting a gold pearl and I'm gonna fold my wire to the end coming back down I'm gonna wrap it up again couple of times and do a couple more loops and then I'm gonna loop it up to here cross again to that side a jade bead but I'm going to insert it behind the wire that's in the bottom so on the left hand side Make sure everything is nice and tight and I'm going to go across to the top here again to another one and I'm gonna put a gold pearl bead again on this side and I'll just create a fold here that way the bead will sit on top and wrap it up and I've got enough wire to put another bead. Tuck that in. It's getting short, so I'm going to need my pliers. And now I'm going to loop it up again to here and secure this part. And I don't have enough wire to go put another bead there. So I'm just going to wrap it up to this corner here. So now we're going to move on from this part 
to here and finish that off. So I've got a 24 gauge wire about 12 inches long and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open that up because I wrap up too much there. I'll just leave that so it's just one loop at the back so because of my excess wire and this one I'm going to wrap this up here and taking the center again which is roughly about there and I'll wrap this up and going across to the other side again and this time I'm putting a side drilled freshwater pearl so if I put it there that's going to flick up on the air like that so what I'm going to do is still put this on but I'm taking my wire and putting it under instead of going across like I did in these two beads here I'm going to go across to the other side and wrap up once here putting bead or my side drilled pearl now I'm going to wrap this up to here or so do a couple of wraps See how it's lifting up? It doesn't matter because I'm going to come back to that and pull it down. So I want to put a gold pearl on the corner there because that would help push this pearl onto that side. So, so I want to somehow take that down like that. So I'm going to put my wire across here like that. And I'm going to make a little curl. And take my round nose pliers and we will do a little curl or a loop. So I'm just grabbing hold right in the center of my bead and going around, picking it up on the other side. I'm just going to pull it tight. And so now, and that's what it looks like. So I'm going to take this and insert it underneath. I'm inserting, pulling it tight. And so now that pulls it down and I'm going to do another loop. So I've got a couple of loops and I'm going to go across to where it still stick up. See how it flaps up or so I'm just going to go wrap this up to go across here. So it's probably about four or five times and I'll just spread my wire out to go across to this side. So now turn it over the other side. See how the wire went on the side there? Just adjust it. And through the little loop that we made there, I'm going to insert And then pull the whole thing in together. And then we'll just spread out the bottom a bit more. And that one as well. Put it on that side. So that's nice and tight. And also it pulled the pearl down. And so the top, I'm going to make a little swirl. Like the ring there. I'm just going to, I'm twisting. Adding a little swirl and I'm going to feed it through the side and I'll just tighten it a little bit making it nice and delicate and so now so I'm going to put it through the gap between my side drilled pearl and also the gold pearl so I'm inserting it through that gap there and before I insert that I'm going to continue the curls or the loops that I have here. So again I'm just going to get and nose pliers but I'm reversing it so I'm just going to grab that there and do a reverse loop. And I'm getting flat nose pliers and making more swirls just slowly. Going around, just gently grabbing the wire, 
this is going to mark if you press too hard. Now I've created a loop or a shoulder on the loop there. So I'm going to put this on top. So it's just flatten it. Like that. Press that down. Therefore, creating a nice curly loop that we are going to take down. So I'm going to feed it through now, through that gap there. And I like the way that's looking, so I'm going to do another loop. So just wrap this up, secure it. So every stage that you do, secure the wire. First, before you move on to putting another bead or making another loop. So now I'm going to continue looping this up. So now I'm going to put a bead and I'm going to let it sit there like that and then just wrap it up around the main wire. I still got a gap on my pearl here on the side there. So I will insert it there filling up that part. So my bead has tilted on the side more so which is actually perfect because now I can insert it here. Just push the wire on top. I'm going to put a couple of small beads. So the three beads looks great there. So I'm just going to insert it back to the gap here. And so now that little curl in the end, we are going to make loops. And we'll push it. And so now that's looking beautiful. And then this one now, we'll adjust this. That one there. And I'm just going to take my... Flat nose pliers. I'm just going to make a little bit of adjustments here later on. So for now, I'm going to leave that there. But I want to get rid of this wire here. So this wire now, that's left over. So I'll put clear bicone and insert it through the gap in the bottom of our side drill pearl. So now I'm just gonna secure that. So I do another wrap and I still got a little tail left so I'm gonna put another loop like that but just curls but just leaving the curls or the loops like those ones there on that side there. And so I've got a nice little curl on the edge and I'll just push that in. I'm just adjusting this a little bit, tucking it in. So this is the layout of what I'm planning to do, filling it all up. So I could leave it like this or I might even move on to add more beads, but roughly you get the idea. So if I lift it off, so those are still the beads that I have to put on. So I could show you every little bit that I have to do here but this video is just gonna go on forever because it's gonna take me about six hours to do this and there's no way I could compress all of that in one video and I'll work on my piece but I'm sure you already got the idea and the next footage I'm going to show is putting the stone I have now finished putting my beads onto my component and this is what it looks like. So now we're gonna work on putting the faceted garnet. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the swirls, or the curls we have in the center. And I'm gonna take my flat nose pliers and just flatten this, turning it up. So I'm picking up the ends and making like a little cup. So I'll just position my stone as to how it would sit. So I'm going to flick this back just so I can see what I'm doing. So roughly I want it to form like a little cup. So I've got one, two, three, four, five swirls or curls that I need to take up. That's the wire that we left sitting on the back there. So I'm just gonna hook it up to the front again just to secure the pendant because it's still moving. And also the three side wires that we have here, the ones at the back, it came a little bit loose. So I've done a little curl. You can see that part there. 
inside that curl sticking up there so I just put my round nose pliers and curled it up and so now I'm just gonna insert this wire that we have at the back and insert it through there so I've just inserted the wire on that little loop that I have in the back there so and so now that pull that in and I'm gonna go under the front of the pendant and where the swirls and going around and I'm gonna find a gap insert this and if you haven't got a gap what you can do is get a little pin and just wedge it and then you can create a little hole so see that part there that I just pushed now I can insert my wire through and then pull it tight and then I'm going to wrap this around the main component so now it actually came out on the loop that I curled up from the back of the wire or this wire here I'm just going to pull it out just gently and tight so now that's not moving anymore so I'm going to go on the back so I'll find a gap between my component which is this two part or the shoulder there and insert that through there so that it will come out to the top and then I'm going to pull that slowly and so now the wire is on the front and I'm going to go to the curls or the swirls that we have in the front inserting it onto the loops that it has so I'm just going to feed this through so, so far I've got two I'm just going around and also at this stage when you're working on it it's best that you don't take the masking tape off that uh, we put on the stone earlier because you're going to be moving it and the stone will pop out so it doesn't matter you can always put it back in but just as a tip but for me because I just want you to see what it looks like with the stone and all so I just push that through and if it straightens out it doesn't matter this is a little bit of maneuvering but patience just do it gently and one step at a time don't rush and the last one so now I'm gonna pull this all in and I'm gonna go back to the first one that we've inserted it through Straighten this ones out. And you can just adjust that, and then we'll insert the stone inside. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look neat, because you can adjust that later on. So now the stones inside. So this one I need to adjust that a little bit on the side like that. And the stone wants to go sit on the side, so we're gonna push. And see how it's sitting there but we can adjust that and so now this one I'm gonna take it to the back and insert it and again I haven't got a gap so any pointy object you can use to make a gap or a hole just have to make a little bit of adjustment here so now we're gonna wrap this up so the stone sitting there and it's not gonna pop out all the loops holding it so this one now we're going to secure wrap it up a couple of times bending it and wrapping it up or looping it up and since it's short we're going to use pliers pull tight so we leave that tail on the back now this one now we're going to do a little bit of maneuvering or adjusting so take the wire that we fed through the whole series of loop and that one will bring it up now this one will spread it that out push the stone in so 
So just a little bit of pushing and maneuvering, clicking it so that the stone will sit flat. So there you go. So that's sitting much better. Lay this down now and push all the wires in or the curls that we have. So the wires will cover the stone. So I've finished tweaking and pushing and curling to get the curls to sit on top of the garnet. So now what we're going to do, so I'm going to finish our wire and I'm going to create more curls or loop to go on the side here to fill this up. So I'll just insert that through there. But every scenario is different, so your curls might end up differently than this one. So now I'm just going to loop this up and that one is being pulled down. So I'm just going to adjust this a little bit to go to there. And I've got another loop here. So but what I'm going to do now is just curl this up first up. And I'm going to flatten this. And then just drag it down to there and hooking up the tip underneath so it doesn't catch on. And squeeze it and tuck it into a loop that I have in the back. So there you go. So that part now is done. And so we're going to move on to this one here. I'm editing the video and I've got some footage missing. It's not really missing, but I forgot to hit the record button on my video camera. So after I finish that part there, so I had a piece of wire sticking out here that was left when we done the pendant first up the first few minutes of this video because there was three wires holding the stone. So the first one and then you've got the second one that's holding the girdle of the stone and then this is the back one. So the first wire, so this part here, what I've done is just took my wire and hook it up here and loop it up. This wire here that's coming across, that was the tail because I just left that one sitting there. I took it across and loop it up to here. That is the first part of our stone. And so now we can continue to the next clip. So I managed to do five wraps and my wire broke off. And we'll just tighten up the loops. And I'm going to do a little curl. Or what I was trying to do is have enough wire so I can go across to the opposite side here, pick it up, tucking it in, holding the stone in. And again, Things did not work out the way I want it to be. So now I'm going to do a little loop here just to finish this off and I'm going to tie off another wire. Then I'm going to add on a piece of wire, another 24 gauge and make it about 12 inches. And then I'm going to insert it at the back, find a gap. So just do the center roughly and Wrap it up again a couple of times to secure it. And so now I'm going to do a series of curls and also putting some bicones in it. Just to go around. So I'm just putting it there and wrapping my wire around it. Just so I'm creating loops. And I'm putting a bicone. Put it there. And again, I'm going to do another loop. But this time I want it smaller, so I'm going to get a little pin. I'm going to put the pin there. So it's just sitting on the edge of my bicone crystal. And I'm going around again. I'm coming back to it. The reason being, I just want to secure that part there. So I'm going to hook it up to the side here. And again, use a pin to just open it up. And another one, just to secure it, so it would stay put. 
and you don't even have to tighten it you can just leave it a bit loose if you like because we are just going around making loops and doing curls and then I'm going to do another curl and I'm just going to flatten that curl and I'm putting another bicone And then I'm going to insert it through the hole. So there's a little hole in a loop there. Just straighten this out so you can see. So the little eyelet there. So again, the theme's in keeping with our swirls like our ring. So now I created a loop in the bottom, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to bring that across to the front wire here. And inserting it in the bottom because there's a gap there. Secure this by wrapping this up from under, pulling this tight, and I'll do another one. And another one. So it looks like little vines curling up. And so now I can go across to the other side, pick that up, insert it through there. On the other side, it broke off. And so now you've created a bridge for the two. So you can pull this tight or you can leave it like that. It's up to you. I'm just going to pull it tight and wrap it up again. Secure it. I'm just tucking that into there. Just going to push the wire through there. And... I am going to make some loops. So I can hook it up to underneath. Pull it tight a little bit. Or oh, I'm just going to curl the ends now just to finish it off. Tuck it in. Now I'll just do a little bit of adjustment here and there. And then on the opposite side, I will do the same. Now finish my statement pendant. So I've just tweaked a little bit, adjust here and there, push and pull. So, but you get the idea, but the stone is set nicely there. And I think the bicones give it a nice touch as well without being too loud. Because I don't want to take away the focus on the jade. So I just put the clear bicone crystals. And on the back here now, I haven't adjusted this, but what you can do with the wires there, you can just adjust it a little bit, just to tighten everything up. Since I want the two points, or the two point pearls, like petals, pearl petals, to sit just below the edge of the collarbone, so I've cut my chain to 13 inches long. So I just want to hook it up to the edge there where the pearls continue. So if I move that there, so the two pearls next to the jade bead. And that way it looks like it just continued on from there. So now I'm going to join my necklace, my pearl necklace to my statement piece. So I'm just going to insert this in the gap here. I'm pulling that in and I'll just wrap it up. You can have it tight or loose, doesn't matter. A couple of times. And I'm going to cut that piece off. In. And I'm going to put another piece of pearl and make a little loop, only a small one. Because this is 
a 24 gauge and I've used 28 gauge on those ones. And then insert that one. And wrap it up. And tuck it in. So now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now my statement pendant is finished. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you so much for watching.